one of uh, our favorite um, graphic crushes, and I'm talking to him, and I feel like an idiot. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> it's exciting. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm very excited that you're here at Fan Expo. Have a good time. I had a great time. Fan Expo is a pretty fun show, you know. Like yeah. people are really cool, and you see a lot of stuff, and a lot of costumes, and art, and toys, and it's a good one. Amazing. And how are commissions going? Good. Commissions are good. Um, I try not to do too many, but I always end up doing like too many, <laughs> and then it's a race to get them finished before the end of the show. That's hilarious. Um, I, you're a Saskatoon native, mm -hmm. so our favorite Canadian boy right now, and the, yes, Bumpin' House's favorite Canadian graphic, comic, illustrator person. That's true. Yeah. Who's I? What? You. Oh, great. Yep. Great. Um, tell me about um, how you got into this from Saskatoon. Well, I broke in in Saskatoon. In Saskatoon, there was like one other guy drawing comics at the time, Tom Grummet, and he was drawing Superman. And, you know, I just was trying to break into comics and uh, just started sending off samples. And it was, it was I broke in at the worst time in the industry. It was like Marvel was undergoing bankruptcy protection and every editor I would meet would be like, your stuff's great, but there's not going to be any comics five years from now. You should choose a different like job to pursue. But I just love comics, so I just put my head down and... Uh, you know, just send in samples until I I got some free work, non-paying work, and that led to some low-paying work, and that led to my first little stinted image as work for hire artists, and that led to Marvel and Wildstorm, and you know, it's amazing. Yeah. What do you love collecting? Oh, like in terms of titles or just anything? Anything. Or? What What fueled your whole passion towards the career? Well, I just love all of it. Like, when I was a kid, there wasn't any difference between toys and comics and movies and animation and video games. Like, at yeah. model making, it was all this one thing. And as I got older, you know, the world tries to tell you, these are different things. And you, if you want to do one of them, maybe you can do one of them. But you have to pick one of them. And, and um, so I picked comics first. But as soon as I found some success in comics, I started making movies. And, like, you know, I, it's all the same thing again to me now. Like... I'm looking into making toys now for my new creator own book. It's like, you know, it's like fun. It's like all one thing. It doesn't have to be separate things and you can do more than one thing, you know? So I like I like it all. I collect I still collect some art and I still collect some comics and some books and movies and a little bit of toys. I try not to buy toys because what do you do with them? Like they take up so much shelf space. So And you're a dad now, so having the toys is <laughs> like it's a whole lot of explaining to it, like not playing with this specific one, right? Well what's fun now is I actually buy toys for my little kids, my little guys. They're two and four, so they're just old enough where I can give them action figures and they'll they like them, so that's fun. That's awesome. And tell me a little bit about your movies. ABCs of Death, you had yeah. a segment there. So my first movie was Altitude. It came out in 2010. It was kind of like a supernatural thriller on a plane uh, starring Jessica Lowndes from 9210. Uh, and, uh, she was Addie. And then, and then I did ABCs of Death. I did the letter V in the first one. I wrote and directed that one. And then I directed Cabin Fever Patient Zero with Sean Astin from Lord of the Rings. And then before all of that, I directed a TV pilot for Cartoon Network, a kids show about kids with superpowers, like a live action show. So just a lot of different stuff. That's really good. And what's next on the horizon? In that world? Yeah. Um, well, I, we have a feature that is just getting sent to an actor this week or next week. And if they say yes, that may trigger some financing. Uh, and then I just signed a deal to write and direct a couple movies for a studio. And I might direct a couple episodes of a TV show next month. Uh, and just like, just a lot of juggling. Um, make a deal with me. Um, yeah. When you do, when you are allowed to give more details. Yeah. You're gonna, you're gonna, let's talk again. Sure, yeah, And then you great. can tell me all about it. I'm really, really excited. And it, oh, what's new on the comic front? What are you working on now? Well, I just finished uh, Iron Fist the Living Weapon. I did 12 issues of that. Wrote, penciled, ink, colored. Uh, did the covers and logo design of 12 issues. And then now I'm doing um, an image book. My first creator-owned image book. Uh, and it's called Renato Jones, The 1%. And that will be out next year, first quarter next year. It won't hit catalogs to like near the end of this year and then we'll do a big push in terms of marketing and publicity but it was announced uh, in July at the Image Expo over in San Francisco that was fun it was like they, they put you out on the stage the same stage where Steve Jobs used to announce the new iPhones oh my it's pretty cool well it's been so amazing thank you so much for giving us your time and yeah, yeah it was, it was, it was great it. it was great seeing you guys again and uh, it's always fun so Yay, thank stop, you so much. stop by anytime 